Hello and welcome my beautiful Sagittarius. This is your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of August the 26th to September the 1st. Let's see what you've got for your download message. You've been given the card freedom. This is going to be a week where things are going to seem easier for you. Where you're going to feel as though you can do what you want to do, say what you want to say, go where you want to go on your own. This is feeling elated, happy, um, having that ability of being carefree. Beautiful card of freedom, being able to know that you can go and do whatever you want this week and you are the one in charge of making those decisions and choices. Coming in in the beginning of the week, the energy you have is the tribe. And the tribe is all about community and belonging and being seen and understood by others. Like-minded connections, a sense of family and friendship, knowing your place in the world, okay? It's great. This is about getting together with the right people, okay? Know we're useful to our tribes as well, families and communities. In a tribe, everyone has an important function and feels, I matter, okay? So membership in the group provides a sense of belonging too, of kinship and purpose that comes from working together for the greatest fulfillment of all. So you could be getting together here. You're discovering the essential qualities that you share with another and perhaps also those you don't share. There are times when you follow another another person's lead and then there's times when you take the helm. Okay, so you're accepting the truth that everyone has flaws and part of that is part of the process here. So we're accepting everybody at who for who they truly are, right? Whenever you're in a community of like-minded others, there's a, po a powerful opportunity to reap great abundance. Everybody works together, you know, because we all think about what can I contribute? What can I get from this if I put something out there? Don't try to be all things to all people, though. Okay, choose your role and be stand your ground. You have a purpose here. This is about you being in the company of the right people. You could be meeting somebody new in the form of a friendship or a relationship. Uh, you could be reconnecting with somebody. But you're definitely going to feel a really good compatible connection. You've got the lovers. Maybe there's a new love coming in for some of you where you're going to feel this way. You're going to feel as though you finally, the puzzle pieces fit. You belong. It's like your family now. But the lovers is indicative of making choices, wise and mindful choices that sometimes we want to lead with our heart. But I always say, let your head lead your heart in this situation so that you're careful about the choices and decisions you're making. This is an emotional card. It is a it is the, the cups card. And that means you could be feeling emotional emotional around another person sharing that energy with someone else and those choices and decisions that you make could be determined around someone like this but you're definitely going to be in the right company this week of people you feel safe and connected and happy with coming in in the focus part of your reading you got miracles yes i love miracles don't you this is all about you know the storms of the past are passing and our dreams are coming true no matter what has happened in the past your future holds abounding miracles good fortune okay all of that is coming in and it's almost like it's you're expanding because of divine uh divine energy that's showing you the way believe that your life is guided okay so trust the goodness of the universe all right, so this is believing that you deserve the best because you do, all right? This is a card of wonderful blessings. The star comes in. That's who you are. Dream big. Stars, the sky's the limit. This is about you finally now knowing what it's like to have great abundance. The star is a card that says you've gone out there. You've projected yourself. You've, you've, you've marketed yourself. You've let the universe know who you are and what you're made of. And now you're getting rewards for that. Uh, this is, a, I always say your cup is overflowing, okay? When we get the star card, you're absolutely the star on your own stage. And you're going to see good luck. Dream big because miracles can and do happen. Wow, what a beautiful card to come in with that. Okay, you're going to, no wonder you're going to feel freedom this week. Now, you got an interesting card, and this is Carl the Talisman. Okay, so a lesson truly learned is crystallized as earned wisdom. You have all the need for success you need and you seek. Okay, so, you know, now you're in a place where you know the right things to do and the best choices to make. You really can't commit to a mistake. Whatever your, you know, whatever your inquiry is about, your concerns this week are about, there's going to be great fortune coming in for you to have the wisdom to arrive at the right decision. You've learned your lessons and you've earned the right to your success. This is about success. This is amazing. Dreaming big. Wow. You've got the freedom now to go after what you want. With that comes in the two, uh, or pardon me, the four of swords. Four of swords has been coming up a lot for others too. And this is taking a time out. 
Okay, you're thinking, you're, ref you're doing some reflective work. Uh, you're calling a truce. You're not going to make any snap or fast decisions and choices. You're not going to jump into the first opportunity that presents itself without reading between the lines. Don't sign any contractual uh, agreements until you do that. Be careful. This is a card that says maybe you've been missing out on some sleep. You could be feeling tired and uh, you need to rest up. But there's going to be some great... Great success coming in this week. This is amazing. Okay, in your messages from your guides and spirit, you've got wisdom. You are called to serve as a mentor for someone or as a role model and guide who can show the way. Okay, use your wisdom and experience. So you might be stepping up to teach, preach, and convey information to other people. The reason you can do this is you've educated yourself here. You've, you've done the research. You're, you're sitting there with all the information and the data in your lap that you need. So some of you may have achieved a certificate, a, a diploma, your master's in something, something that you can uh, apply to your to helping other people. You could be a counselor. You Maybe you're going into life coaching, therapy work, uh, energy healing whatever you're definitely going to be called as a mentor for someone as a role model you're you're helping other people you're guiding other people and that's because as the high priestess steps up okay uh this is showing that you have unlimited potential you can do anything because you because you have what you need okay helping others now in your outcome let's see what we have here for outcome if something deep within you tells you that something is not quite right trust it yeah, trust it big time. If you are unhappy in your life, change something. We have that ability to do that. Happiness is a choice, right? It is entirely up to you. Stop making excuses. You are in control of your own life. So don't procrastinate, okay? You're, it's, something's coming in here with this page of cops. It could be somebody younger, looks younger, acts younger. They bring you a gift, time, effort, support, maybe even affection. You might be receiving a letter, a love letter from somebody. But this page of cups comes with a gift, okay? And the puzzle pieces fit. They have a useful aspect around them. They're up to date. They're modern. They're current. And they may look younger, act younger or be younger so this is something that you need to know that you have this ability here to trust your feelings okay uh and to make yourself happy i would not listen to other people here this is a card they're telling me don't take other people's uh as they think is constructive advice uh not to get together with somebody here i think you need to trust your own advice okay this is your life you're in control of your thoughts Okay, let's see what we have, my beautiful Sagittarius. Let's see what we have for additional information. What do you need to see, know, and expect this week? Wow. So there's some beautiful, beautiful energy coming in with the star and the miracles and the talisman. You know, you're, you're hooking up and connecting with the right people. Now you're going to be happy. There could be a new beautiful uh, relationship coming in in the form of uh, taking a friendship to a next step. Stage, love perhaps. Beautiful. Okay. You're definitely going to feel freedom. Coming in with that, you've got the Two of Swords. So you could be at a crossroads with somebody here, okay? This relationship with somebody. And you're having to make a decision and a choice, and you really don't want to do it. But um, I think if you um, if you just take your time and you think about this situation, you'll be able to see the situation in complete clarity, okay? So this is about you at a crossroads. Maybe, you, you know, maybe you've locked horns with somebody, and you need to communicate with them, all right? Communicate with them. Make sure that you can see everything. If it's a legal issue with somebody in, you know, in the court system, get a mediator to lay the cards in a fair and equitable manner on the table so you can clearly see what you have to gain and lose. Remember, I always see compromise come into this. The star card, yes, in your focus position, you've got clarity. The ace of swords says, wow, you get that moment of epiphany. Your eyes are wide open. You see something incomplete. Clarity now. Uh, you know, this is a card of victory, too, when the ace of swords shows up. You're, you're coming into your own. You see finally. You see the truth in a situation. And you're able now, at, because you're guided now, because you saw the truth in a situation, to go after something. Go after your goals. Don't be afraid. Okay? This is a card that says it's time to cut through the, the fog here, okay, and see things for what they really are, right? It re it, this is new ideas and progress and additional clarity. You finally see something clearly. You're about to take the first step towards new and exciting project or something here. Trust your intuition and act with confidence because you know what? You're on the mark here. You, you're, you're the star here. Coming in with the Four of Swords. Let's see what we have here with the Four of Swords. You've been given the Magician. Yes, 
you know what? We said miracles. We said magic happens. We said you can, you could, you're, it's all coming into you. The magician is time, effort, support. You've got all the resources here and maybe even some unexpected uh, resources come into play here. You're thinking about planning something and now you can go after it. The magician says you've got everything at your fingertips to create what it is you want. Go after it. Don't be afraid. With the high priestess, you've got the celebration card. Three of cups. You've done the work. Okay, you're able now to celebrate something. Maybe you did get a diploma, a certificate in something here where you can coach and guide other people. Um, and, you know, this is beautiful. But celebration it can be an event, a wedding, an engagement party, a celebration of something. Okay, so you're definitely going to want to celebrate some accomplishment here, some happiness. Coming in with the Page of Cups, you've got the Page of Swords. Yes, exciting news. However, it may create a delay. Okay, with the Page of Swords, the Page of Swords is an, is something that comes in that says, you know, there's a new idea, but it could cause a delay in your plans because you've got to think about it, right? Um, you're not going to run rush in, okay? You're ready to take, the, you know, take on the world and inspire necessary change to move forward. But, you know, this is about full energy and being passionate and going after what you want. Um but it could cause a delay. Often with this page of swords, we hear about information that comes in, um, but it comes in third party. Or maybe this person didn't have the tact and the maturity to deliver it. They, they're blunt and they blurt it out. It's always a card that says, don't attack the messenger. Just take the message because this is exciting news coming in for you this week. Wow. Well, my beautiful Sagittarius, this is your general tarot and oracle forecast for this week. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic, healthy, happy, prosperous, and successful week. You all know I stand in the circle of love and light for you. But I want to tell you also that I do go live every single Sunday at 3 p.m. on my channel to give out intuitive spirit and card messages. Come and join me with my friend Anne Ellis Angels. Let's have some fun. See you on Sunday or I'll see you next week. Take care.